All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final leg of JM Lockdown 4. We got Losers Finals followed up by Grand Finals. It's your boy, Gal P, joined here with the one and only Jonut. You can you can change the names in your own time, man, but they know who we are. We are the Gal P, we are Jonah, and we are Summary Mints, the Minty. How hey. you doing, lads? Yeah. Oh. I'm super hyped. I want to see Jez and PJ take it all the way to Grands. He, is, he got upset early. He got, uh -huh. uh, he took an unfortunate loss against Remora, actually, which is a huge upset, by the way. huge upset. Yeah, oh, that's amazing so upset. But, <laughs> yeah, back, but Jezza, Jezza is on a tear in losers. He beat Neek, he beat Salmonella, he beat Ice Banana. He's got Barracook, and then uh, he will have Jay Yappa if he wins this set. Yeah. <laughs> There was I'm some really to see Jay Upper and Grands. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you love to see it, right? Like he hasn't participated in a single JM lockdown, and then now his first one, and he he pulls through, sitting in Grands. Yep. Um, I was gonna say we did see some really really cool matches, some really good upsets too, like from Ramora, from Salmonella, um, like Salmonella taking it over Ice Banana, and even Ramora like having a, a solid run in winners as well. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I have a bit of inside information here, Ooh. so. I Otherwise. was talking to Jay Yappa a bit, a couple minutes ago, and I asked him, who in losers do you want to play against most, and who do you want to play against least? He said he would rather play Barakook the most. Really? And no, he is sense. terrified of Jezza PJ. He's like, bro, it's, he's got me shaking in my boots. Like, Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, the, Jezza Knight, advantage state. that's the Jezza advantage state. The Brawl yeah. Meta Knight, as Zero wants to put it. For real. The Dude, Brawl like, Meta Knight. I see him do his combos, and I hear the Brawl theme in my head. Like, do Like, I haven't even played a Brawl, bro. Like, all I've seen is Mario do, like, his no jump from, but my parents didn't let me play because it was M rated when I was little. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Brawl was not M rated. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is he dead? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. No, no, he's chilling. It, it had violence in it, so they thought it would make me violent if I played Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, I get you. I, yeah. I was banned from Brawl. Understandable. But I mean, yeah. literally, I my Smash player, to be honest. Like, if I play Brawl, I reckon I'd be top 50. Oh, yeah? For yeah, real. Yeah, easy. Free. Free. With Ganon. <laughs> or something. We had Ganon in Brawl. Alright, oh, oh is that yo! No, he held, he held out kill. then. Oh. He had to have definitely held yeah. out. That was 50. 56. I think he was drifting out because he was really worried because he didn't have a jump. And uh, then, True. you know, he just got messed up. Jezza yeah. is up to a huge start. Dude, his Meta Knight is so scary. Walking the pink Meta Knight as well. It's like a warning sign. You know how, like, poisonous, fro poisonous frogs have, like, bright really colors? bright bright colors. Yeah, like, if you touch mm. his PJ, nice. you get poisoned. And if you fight him, you also get poisoned, which is actually venomous. Mm. But. So true. But you know. All right. So the real question is, do either of you want to see the Lucas Ditto? No. I was honestly <laughs> expecting that to be the game one. I was actually, I was expecting it to be like game one, PS2, Lucas Ditto. Like uh, that would have been a game for the ages. Yeah. Uh, and what's interesting too is that these two have these two have quite different Lucases. Like, oh, yo, is he dead? Oh, he that was a really Ooh, sick down air, but unfortunately oh, didn't convert it into a full edge guard. But yeah, Jezza is. Just in control, right? Now. He's flat him in the set, which is oh, pretty. He went for the oh, he went for Oh, sorry, up smash. I don't know why he would go for up smash. Like, I don't think he'd be, it, it doesn't have it doesn't have much of a scoop box though. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe he was a misinput, or uh, maybe he thought that the down uh, that, that the back that he would like bounce from the uh, from the down air. Sorry, from the uh, back air uh, drag down. Something like that. But it doesn't really matter. He still got a very strong lead and. Barakok needs to find this kill I think it's too hard. long. I remember people saying that they were played against Lola before, that if he's behind, it's really hard for him. Because he realized he's, he's got a really good camping game, but... Oh wait, back to the back. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, I get what you mean. Like, it, we, we've seen uh, Barakok play uh, very defensively, like, when he's ahead, just play very well. He just sort of sits back, spans PK fire, spans P, uh, PK freeze. Doesn't have to do much, but when the initiative is it's on him, yeah. then uh yeah, it's on the yeah. struggle a little bit. And especially with like such an oppressive force as Jezza PJ's Meta Knight. Um uh, more often than not you find yourself in disadvantage and sometimes on the back foot. Yeah. Or if yeah, you PK, get on the bevs and get rid of that <laughs> inhibition. I don't know what inhibition means. 
if you PK get on the fence, you get more brave. Oh, get on the edge he, guard. He, 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 he PK on the edge guard. PK edge guard. PK edge guard. Oh, PK getting edge guard in. Oh, is he getting zero to death? Oh, he's fine. No, like sure. a five jump? Yeah. Drake should have five. Oh no! Oh, SD! That caught the PK SD! <laughs> oh no. SD PK. Why is it PK fire and not fire? Oh. <laughs> the oh rapid chap at Legend's so good! I'm oh. Uh. I'm, I'm so surprised that caught. <laughs> I'm <laughs> speechless. <laughs> the rapid chap yeah. catching the PK rocket like that? Yeah, it's just a really. Like a very generous hitbox under the ledge um, that lets you just mess with a bunch of people's recoveries, and because it's pretty much a constant hitbox, it's so easy to just like leave it just there. Oh my else. goodness, he's it. Is Meta Knight having um gentleman? No. Nah. Uh, you can use Meta Knight F tilt similarly to a gentleman's where it has three hits, but True. like the jab is just a rapid jab and nothing else. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's looking pretty grim for no lag. Um, yeah. I well, think one up B, one F smash, uh, a cup, a cute down tilt tech chase maybe into something. You could work. Down tilt tech chase. Yeah, you can do it like down tilt down B. I think uh, if they miss the tech and it just gets. Oh, that's hot. Men nice back as a surge, or just the way that Jesse PJ season them is really it's good. It's so strong. We've seen that even if he um he can sort of just like throw it out, and because of those multi hits, um. You can even just get nipped by just a little bit, and as long as that third hit connects, it's super Ooh, strong. Uh, yeah, holy. I was really worried that he was gonna die to look like a Lugus up smash when he missed that up B, but he's. That's the scary thing, too. Meta Knight's relatively light, and Lucas does have, like, very, like, I mean, almost, uh, or a pretty solid amount of rage, but an up smash is. Look at that smash is one question. of the strongest in the game, yeah. Yeah, it's not out of the I think it will kill now. Like, if he, if he up smashes a Meta Knight at 69, when he's got rage, that's gonna kill. Yeah. And then that's a white fella as well. He'd probably need that. Well, regrab. What oh, is the oh, okay. That's like such a great ledge trap. <laughs> so scary. His pressure at ledge is so good. You know? Yeah. Like, what do you do? You get back air or you just get hit by that. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, there's so many moves that you have to worry about, right? There's back air, there's F smash, oh, there's there cape. It's and reason. then if you just, like, freeze up and you stand the ledge too long, you can get down tilted what? and then. Like, because it's Meta Knight, he can just chase you off stage and go yeah. really deep. Yeah. Yeah, like that's that so caught. scary as well. That would have caught like, mutual get up as well, I reckon. Yeah, no, I'm seeing the, seeing the replay there. Um, like, no lag, it's not no lag, but Buruku um, <laughs> was re-grabbing the ledge there and he just sort of panicked. Like, a lot of the time people will re-grab the ledge and most commonly their option is to roll afterwards. And so that dimensional cape covered roll, covered get up attack, covered neutral get up. Like, just that PJ was covering so many options there. Um, and just yeah. making, really taking advantage of that sort like of a, that panic option on re-grabbing the ledge. Cape is like a blanket, covers everything. <laughs> Bro, you reckon it's like you're, you're no? sleeping at ledge, he's covering it. Would you sleep Maybe that's why Better Night wins all the time, because it's warm. <laughs> he's actually just really sad and, he, and he, he needs to have some human connection, but because nobody, like, he's a bit lonely, so he has to wear his cape because it provides the warmth that he needs to survive. Damn, Speaking of, do you know, you know what makes me warm? A nice alcoholic beverage. Lads, what are you drinking Sorry. tonight? I'm drinking a Chardonnay. I don't Chardonnay? Know. Oh, she fancy! Ooh, fancy? Chardonnay. Hello? I had soju before. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, getting I'm having some soju right now. I think oh, lychee soju is hella good, by the way. I don't think I haven't tried lychee soju. Lychee soju, goaded. Like, I reckon the apple growth is the way to go. There's like a place um, in, in Clayton, near Clayton Station, that sells soju for like $18 for three bottles. Mm -hmm. um, this is no, a shop only stream, so if you're underage, don't no go there. Way. But if you are of age and you are. <laughs> I'm getting a weird look. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, um, no. Fellas, yeah. who picks Lilac? Uh, Boracook. Think... Why right, would you we... pick Lilac? <laughs> Lilac is perfect as it is. Uh, I'm not sure what he's looking for here, honestly. Uh, what well, Lilac would offer him. Yeah, I don't I don't know why Lucas wants Lilac. Uh, I know historically Lucas really liked Carlos, to be honest, um, before it got banned. And I don't really know what else Lucas likes. Uh, yeah, it might be putting the platforms. What's yeah, the, exactly. I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Let me see. I'm gonna yeah, and while you do that, yeah, I think we had um, 
Uh, I was talking to, or at least I saw uh, Surya talking chat before, and he was saying how he was able to take advantage of uh, the platforms um, to sort of snuff out a lot of Meta Knight's aerial approaches. Like when he's trying to stall and uh, schmix you with the, the multi jumps, you can just sort of take cover underneath the platforms. Ah, so having, okay. having that one in the center on Lilac's layout is pretty solid while keeping that that mid air space uh, free, unlike, say, Battlefield. Yeah, and I suppose Lucas yeah. can cover the platforms quite well. I mean, like, Meta Knight can as well, right? Because you have so many jumps and you can just kind of uh, dark with the up air a lot. Oh, is he dead? Oh, oh, he's dead. oh. oh my goodness, that was, oh, I love that was that a change so much. It's just so nice to watch everything. The ladders. <laughs> if you had like, like five seconds left to live, like, some people would choose to watch that chain. That's how sad that <laughs> is. Like that Dying Child or Evo, they would watch that chain. That's I don't probably. Know you. That's not my crowd, but I'm sure. <laughs> sure. <bro. laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got four percent extra credit, seventeen now, and yeah, I feel like Barakook needs to be able to find the kills in this matchup, right? I feel like he has oh, yeah. not that much trouble racking up damage, and when he's when it's time for him to get the kill, he he likes to grab a lot. But Jessa's Meta Knight is so fast; he jumps around so much, yeah. he's just not going to be in shield oh. very often, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like he's oh, back he Oh, what a great. Oh, oh my god. This, oh is, my this is bullying. This is bullying. This is bullying. I think oh, that's oh, that's it too. He's so good. What the heck? The space, bro. That's the that's Mario. Nice. That's pretty nice. Yes, that's yeah. Yeah, he, he, I think he's kind of fishing for the back there because now you have sort of tunnel vision for the thing that you do need that back there. Which will kill, sir. Um, yeah. He's it's also panicking now, man. Like he's he's three, he's two stocks down. Oh uh, my god, that upstairs almost did. Yeah, no, he's two stocks down. Jezza PJ is still living at 143, so he's just trying to get something, anything. Oh, that was a very nice grab. There you go. That's what he's looking for. <sighs> Alright. But he still has full stock down. And I think that these platforms are actually annoying for Lucas to cover. Like, if Jezza kind of just uh, caps oh. the platform. Oh no! Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. You do hate to see it. See, what's interesting is that I wonder if Lilat helped him or didn't help him in that scenario. Because I feel like it, <laughs> it, it, it kind of did because he could drift a little more toward that slant, that downward slant. Mm. But yeah. That replay, I love it so much. So satisfying. Uh, yeah, I Dude. was going to say though, like, uh, if when Jeff is on the platform and he has the lead, he can kind of just jump above the platform. And Barakook hasn't really figured out how he's going to pressure him from below, right? Because if you want to pressure someone as Lucas, generally people like to use PK fire, people like to use landing up airs maybe. But you don't just like full hop up air with Lucas because he's kind of floaty. Whereas yeah. Meta Knight's a fastballer, right? Yeah. So he and he's got multiple jumps. So if you whiff like if you whip an up air, Meta Knight will whiff punish you like crazy, right? And it's really hard for uh, for Lucas to, you know, pressure Meta Knight when he's just chilling above the platform. But then, of course, it's like a pick your poison, right? Because if you don't want platforms, you go to FD, and Meta Knight on FD will kill you. Like he will catch your landings. He oh, will. Oh yeah. 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 It's it's really rough for. Him. Yeah, it's kind of ironic how. Um... Sure Sorry, what was that? I mean, a friend oil. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I was saying, it's kind of <laughs> ironic how we how uh, we talk about um, just being in the air as a generally disadvantageous state, but in that scenario, like, Lucas has no answer, or Burakook in this scenario has no answer for when Jezza BJ is in the lead and just dancing above those platforms. Yeah, yeah. like, he has to make some bad adaptations, also the names of the rock going around. Um, oh, there we go. Let's go. Uh, hey! That's the adaptation we're looking for. That's the adaptation. <laughs> That's this is also this is how me. he lost winners finals actually where like oh my goodness uh, where like Jay Appa kind of got the lead and then just camped above the platforms and Cook didn't really have an answer and I, you can say that Meta Knight can do it even better than Corrin can oh is he just oh is he dead Ooh, oh my god chain with the cyclone it's so scary because if you di down and out then you die to tornado whereas if you di in and up then you di oh then you die to the up B, right so like. You have to mix up your DI really well, and uh, and like SDI these these like Meta Knight uh, like up airs and down airs. Yeah, that's or the you terrifying just thing. That's the terrifying <laughs> thing because you, there are there so many options that he can throw out and so many ways that he can end that combo. Oh, oh no. no, he could be alive. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, they're both alive. Oh my goodness, he's from recoveries. That was. Stupid. 
yeah. That is one thing that Meta Knight can do, of course. He's just got... He can go oh, wow. so far. Oh, wow. He's Oh, my God. Oh. He tried to kill him. He tried to end it right there. He has no fear. Look at him go! Nah, he, he's got confidence now. He's on the floor. Dimensional yeah. cave? Oh, all right. What are you going to do? Lucas, dead? what are you going to do? Could just be dead. Oh, he's, 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 he's trying to style with the with the side B into <laughs> yeah. the ledge. How do you oh, off that? Oh, what the heck? Let's go! It's like, up, it's like falling up there into up B, right? I love that conversion. It's so sick. Where you like drop through the platform and you get an up there and then it just I think it's true, right? It's true. Some, I mean I don't I don't know man. He was on like the left side of that middle platform and Jesse PJ just fell off the right platform and he was still able to connect that up B. Oh, no, wow. no He's way! Dead. He's dead. Oh he went! Oh, oh, oh. Give it to him! Oh my god! The most disgusting Meta Knight in the West, but you have to respect it. Oh! Oh my god! He's, he's putting on a show tonight. Oh my god! He's actually just filling out. He's just filling out. He's just clips. All right. To be fair, that is one thing where, like, like Baraku, he was down two stocks. He needed something big, right? And I don't blame him for going off stage to. You know, make that play, hopefully get that early stock, but you can't do it with Meta Knight, man. Meta Knight will just so, destroy yeah. you. Especially a Meta Knight oh. that's two stocks ahead and with the biggest balls. Like, maybe when you two Meta Knights, you know? Two Meta Knights. Yeah, yeah two absolutely. Meta Knights on stage. <laughs>